I think I, I think I know the answer, but I'm curious. What is your favorite movie? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. What is my favorite movie? Probably the 2001 or 2002 version of The Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, Jim- not what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a really good one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a great movie. I thought you were going to say Girl Interrupted. Oh, <laughs> No, actually, I hate that movie. I mean, I like it in the sense that it's intellectually like stimulating, but it makes me so uncomfortable and upset. I don't like Mm -hmm. it. You know, I don't like to watch, enjoy watching that movie. It's just, it says something that I think is profound for the moment and for, you know, women's history in America. But, um, but no, I do not enjoy it. It's not a happy point that it's making. (laughs) Right. Well, I I think it was because I think you said that the name of your podcast was kind of a riff on that. I I, I guess I just assumed like, oh, yeah. But I um, I find that hilarious. I find it hilarious that that move because the movie is directed by one of my favorite filmmakers, James Mangold. He's directed a lot of my favorite movies like um, 310 to Yuma. Logan, he's directing the next Indiana Jones movie. And then to hear like, oh, yeah, he directed a movie about... uh, uh, women in like a mental mental institute going crazy, and it's like, wow, yeah, that yeah. is not what I expect from a uh, from James Mansfield. <laughs> I love Three Ten to Yuma too. Oh yeah, such a such a great movie. He he's like one of those few filmmakers that like invokes old Hollywood and and, and like classic heroism, combating good and evil, and and uh, and uh, yeah. the idea of like aging heroes. Um, I don't know, very, very attractive for a, for a masculine audience. Mm 